Hey there, my name is Alex and welcome to this Adobe XD tutorial. I am the products creator and so far I have created more than 500 design products. I'm also a course creator and so far I have created more than 30 different products. You can access all of my courses and digital design products in my membership alongside all the practice files for the YouTube videos, including this one, which we are going to work on in this tutorial. So if you're interested, the link is going to be down in the description below. I also have a YouTube channel and you can check it out if you're interested in more Adobe XD and UI UX design content. Without any further ado, let's jump inside today's video. In this video, we're going to create this coffee shop website and here is how it's going to look like. So we have these nice hover effects and nothing more, but of course you can always go back to here and include some animations. So let's get started. Here we have the practice file for this tutorial. And as I said in, at the beginning, if you want to get this practice file, you can uh, join my membership and get the practice file there alongside all the courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group and much more. So if you're interested, make sure to check it out. Link is going to be down in the description below. If not, then you can follow with your own resources if you want to, or you can simply enjoy and see how uh, this is going to turn up. So to get started, I'm going to jump in and drag my logo. I am on the 1920 by 10 AT port and I have a 12 column layout. You can see I have a gutter of 60 and column width of 82. So I'm going to line this up right here. Make sure it's 40, for example, like so. And let's see, perhaps we can uh, start with the navigational items. So I'm going to hit T on my keyboard and type in coffee like so. I'm going to make sure I'm using uh, this Poppins 26, for example. I'm going to make sure it's in the center like this. And then let's see, perhaps I can put it in a group and I can call this nav, move it just below my logo and I'm going to put it in a stack. And when I create a duplicate, go back to the folder and put a 60 because if you remember gutter width for this artboard is 60. So let's see coffee. This can be T. Control D cookies. You can do Control T and D one more time. Waffles. Like this. Control D. This can be sandwiches. Like so. And finally, Control D one more time. This can be contact us. And I'm going to hit Control C. Control V to move this uh, item out of my folder. And this can be order now, which can take you down to the menu page uh, or uh, to the menu section of this page. If this is just the landing page for this coffee shop, I'm going to place it right here. Then I'm going to use my rectangle, position it like this, for example. And let's see, perhaps I can make it a 70. Let's see right here, so 70. And if I zoom in, perhaps we can position it to be two columns wide like this. And maybe we can give it some nice uh, around edges of five, nothing too crazy. I'm going to remove the border, jump in right here and give it a main color like this. I'm going to call it BTN, place it just below, hit Control G and actually call it BTN BG. And this can be BTN because it's a button. Place this two in the middle like so. Make sure order now is white like this. And then what I can do is actually reposition these items a little bit better. So what I can do is put all of these uh, in a group. But before I do, I make sure to center them. Hit Control G and call this navigation or nav, however you want to call it. And finally, I want to squeeze these. So let's see what I can do. Perhaps I can position them, let's see, two columns wide, so like this, just so that we have equal spacing between our uh, logo and our button right here. Finally, for our button, I'm going to hit Control K to create a component. Then I'm going to add a hover state, as you saw in the preview. Of course, you can add additional states if you want, but I'm just going to create a hover state. I'm going to select my background, use my hover color, and I'm going to actually keep the text white in this case. I think it's going to work just fine uh, when it's just white. Then we're going to move on. Let me go back to the default state and let me actually select this text. Hit Control C to copy it, Control V to paste it in right here. And I'm going to work on my title now. So start your day 
the right way like so and I'm actually going to jump in and copy and paste this text so I'm going to hit ctrl D to duplicate this ctrl V to paste in my text right here and this can be bigger like this for example and let's use this dark gray color just to differentiate it a little bit better so let's position this to be not 60 but 40 I think it's going to work just fine let's see for the color I think it's it works just fine like so so what I'm going to do uh, in this case is I'm going to jump in right here because we have two buttons I'm actually going to remove my original button not to distract us and I'm going to use this button that we just created hit ctrl C move it outside of this folder ctrl V to paste it in right here position it right here and I'm going to actually switch and move it to be three columns wide and let's see order now is fine for the text but now we have to click on the hover state and change it right here so when we hover or go back to default state is going to stay at three columns wide this is the original component so it's going to be two columns wide no matter the state you put it in let's now organize it so I'm going to put this right here and let's see for this perhaps 80 will work just fine let's see or maybe 60 because we have that information at the bottom so I'm going to put it at 60 and select all of this hit ctrl and G and this can be text for example or info however you want to call it and let's see we're going to place it here for now now what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to create that circle so I'm going to make sure it's somewhere around here so 600 by 600 no 16 600 if Adobe XD actually listened to me position it right here and let's see this can be circle BG for example because it's a background of, of a circle I'm going to remove the border and circle gradient position it right here and perhaps I want this lighter um, lighter part of the gradient to be at top left and not just at the top so to achieve that I can hit space and pan around and perhaps move it right around here maybe I can nudge this right around here just so that we have this nice even gradient across uh, in the angle for example something like 60, uh, 60 degrees or something like that I think that's going to work just fine and finally I have this coffee cup and I got this mock-up from uh, Envato Elements link is going to be down in the description below if you want to check it out they have basically everything you can possibly ever need as a designer I just include this logo that we have right here in my Photoshop so I'm going to select these two elements let me find them right here so perhaps I can nudge this cup a little bit maybe rotate it just a touch maybe move it just right here maybe something like this and let's call it a day let's say that that's it but uh, this is not the final uh, position because we still need to add all of those elements at the bottom so then when we do that's going to be its final position so if we go back to here what we need are those uh, bottom elements so I'm going to actually group these two call it coffee actually no you know what we're not because uh, as I said we need to reposition this circle first so what we need uh, is that bottom information so let's actually create it I'm going to use a basic rectangle call it bottom BG it's going to stay white position it all the way down to here navigation all the way to the top so for this bottom BG we don't need a border and for the size let's see 166 I think it's going to work just fine nudge it to the bottom so it's 1920 which is great and now we need to include all of those details right here so first of all what we need is that circle so let's create a circle let's give it I don't know 60 by 60 for example nudge it right around here and I'm going to use this light color for the R part just so that we have something make sure they are in a center and let's see perhaps we can uh, make sure that this is a little bit bigger so perhaps 82 by 82 I think it's going to work much better like that let's see this can be IC and BG so for icon background and I'm going to create two more like this 
and because we have 12 columns each of these are going to take up four columns so you can simply count to align your items so one two three four and on the fifth column this can go then from here one two three four and fifth column this can go and here you have four columns so basically distribute them evenly throughout your space I'm going to organize them a little bit better and now it's come the time to add these icons so as you can see I have these icons once again from Envato Elements and first of all we have this donut icon so I'm going to place it right here like so and then we have this and we're going to put in this extra cream icon inside make sure it's in the center on all sides and now finally for this one we're going to include this cupcake icon make sure it's in the center right here and there you go so what i'm going to do is actually move this down move this here and let's give it a name so icon for example and hit ctrl g to group it call it icon ctrl g to group it call this icon as well and now we need to include text so to include a text what i'm going to do is hit t obviously and i'm going to call this tasty donuts like this and let's see we can give it this 26 poppins right around here control a d and let's see actually i'm going to copy in this text so perfect coffee companion but 26 and let's see for the spacing we can give it 10 for example so like this and make sure it's in the center like this now hit control g and I'm going to call it text like so then move it just below my icon hit control and D move it right here move it below this second icon control D one more time and finally position it right here move it just to the bottom hit control and G control G control G to organize these so I'm going to name this first one tasty donuts now this second one is going to be extra cream like so so this group is going to be extra cream and let me quickly copy the text from the original design so I can save myself a bit of time like so and finally this last one is going to be cupcakes to go like so and let's call this cupcakes to go like this and finally let me take the text from it put it right here and there you go now the last thing is this bottom bg we need to group it with the rest of our content so position it here hit ctrl g and call it the bottom info for example and now that we have that bottom info what i'm going to do is align this circle with our top navigation so i'm actually going to select it position it right around here with our logo use it and circle pg select it right here then remove this and finally simply align my coffee cup to however i want because now it doesn't really matter as long as the background circle is in the place the last thing which we need to do right here is if you want to give your websites a bit more life, a bit more um, visual appeal to your viewer, then perhaps the texture is what's going to be good for you or perhaps this background blur or something like that. Or in this case, we are actually going to put a pattern. So to put a pattern, what I have right here is this icon of a coffee bean. So I'm going to simply put it right here. As you can see, it's nothing really too uh, special, too fancy. What we have is just a coffee bean and I'm going to... For example, let's see, I don't know, let's, let's position it right around here and let's actually move it all the way down and I'm going to hide all of our items just so it's left right around here. So you can see it's just a component of an icon. Hit repeat grid and I'm going to make it repeat a lot. So the more of these repeat grids you create, the bigger your file obviously is going to get. So this is going to be coffee bean. I'm going to select it, hit control G to put it in a group just so that I can orientate and uh, position it however I want. So I'm going to select one of these and it's going to be quite tricky because it's really quite small. 
so right around here you can actually do this make sure it's in the center and then hold your shift key to rotate it in the direction that you want for example i want to be in this direction then you can go back to your uh, default uh, repeat grid sorry and then simply move this back if you want to and you can move this up if you want to just to adjust this spacing a little bit more and then you can nudge this down by holding your shift key can nudge this up into place if you want to something like this i think it's going to work just fine and once again you can adjust this repeat grid to whatever you want and finally what i want to do is at this stage when i show you the elements they are going to clash too much elements are just going to uh, stand out way too much what we need from this uh, pattern in the background is just to be super subtle not too distracting it's just there to give this sort of a visual interest so what i'm going to do is hit zero one on my keyboard and you can see it's just at one percent opacity right now you can of course click right here and click one on your keyboard so now when i go back and actually when i hide my layout and when i bring all of my elements back you can actually see that this works just fine so when i hit preview enlarge it you can see that the hover effect works just well all of these elements work just fine and you can see that this uh, background uh, element of a coffee bean is very well placed and it really gives it this sort of a visual edge which this website really needs to sell off this effect and to be as pleasant to the eye as possible Thank you for watching today's video, I really hope you found some value in it. If you want more content like that, make sure to check out my YouTube channel, link is going to be down in the description below. And remember, if you want to access that project file alongside all the courses, digital design products, more project files, private access to the Facebook group and so much more, make sure to check out my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Thank you once again for watching and I really hope to see you in the next one. Take care.